Hey friends, today we're taking a look at the Manus Ceteritas. From Noise Engineering. The Manus Ceteritas is an aggressive evolution on the Basimilus Ceteritas, reaching a little farther beyond the confines of what would be a percussion sound generator. Like the Basimilus, the Manus has a manual trigger and a corresponding trigger input, as well as the selectable bass, alto, and treble uh, range switch. Um, there's also selectable liquid, skin, and metal mode algorithm switch as well. Uh, metal is slightly different in its topology compared to the Basimilus, but in a general sound sense, it's, it's similar. The pitch control has a very cool implementation. It's an endless encoder instead of an analog pot and has very fine pitch adjustment by default, making it much less likely for you to knock it out of pitch on accident when you're performing. When you press the encoder in, in turn, Manus will then step the pitch in semitones. The LPF knob controls a non-resonant two-pole low-pass filter that tracks the pitch, um, so it's incredibly handy to have for subtly shaping the aggressiveness of the Manus, um, particularly what's introduced by the smash control, which is a unmistakingly digital... But very cool sounding wave folder, uh, arguably a wave wrapper as it sounds like it wraps the waveform back around from the bottom or top rather than the typical wave folding. The saw mod and profundity controls at different aspects of modulation. Um, profundity mixes in additional out of phase oscillators, continuing into a full detuning of the whole voice for kind of a more smeared sound. Um, saw mod, when modulated, sounds a bit like pulse width modulation, but when adjusted in static positions, does a great job of like sh shifting the harmonic emphasis, which to my ears sounds a bit like uh, heavy feedback. It ends up being a really useful control for tonality and not just a pulse width modulation like sound. Last but not least, we have the envelope control and bash. Um, like Basimilus, the envelope goes from a very, very short decay to, with some noise mixed in, to a longer decay, then to a slower attack with a long decay. However, when turned fully clockwise on the Manus, the envelope no longer gates the VCA, making it like a run freely like a typical oscillator. This is one of my favorite features of the Manus. Um, in this mode, manual or triggers, manual triggering or external triggers will reset the oscillator and re-trigger the internal envelope, which is where Bash comes in. Bash controls the amount of envelope signal that is sent to Smash, Profundity, and the low-pass filter. It's a bipolar control, so 12 o'clock is zero. Clockwise is positive, and counterclockwise is negative. Let's explore Manus with some more patches. Okay, let's start off here with using every Eteritas family's favorite friend, the voltage block. Um, I'm just using three channels here. They're currently muted um, to the envelope control, uh, bash, and the, the low pass filter. Um, so this is kind of like a pretty standard synth voice sound. The low pass is all the way down. Um, I have something of like sort of a thick saw wave sound. As you can hear as we adjust batch up from 12 o'clock, get a little bit of filter modulation. This is always a great starting place with the Manus. And it always makes it easy to come back to as you go into the crazy sonic territory. So now if I start some of the channels modulating, start with the low pass filter.
already that alone sounds pretty rad. If we were to add Bash into that, and going negative, so actually let's turn it negative. Let's start modulating bash. And lastly, we'll add some envelope modulation. All right, let's step up the amount of modulation to this. Okay, expanding on that last patch, we still have the voltage block controlling now pretty much all the parameters um, on the Manus. Um, and let's just take a listen. As you can hear, dynamic modulation of bash um, and the envelope and the other controls really can add a lot of variety to what here is just a pretty straightforward sequence. Controlling pitch from a Renee off screen. deeper modulation. All right, in this final patch, we've got um, a few less things controlled from the voltage block and a couple things controlled uh, sort of asynchronously from some cycling envelopes on the uh, double Andre. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I'll probably just sort of play us out with this one. Thanks for tuning in.